I'm going to be looking at the historiography of the Civil War, but in particular, in particular, the historiography of the Civil War and its impact on Kentucky. Kentucky had more men who fought for the Union than for the South. And the question is why? Why was that? Well, Kentucky was a bit of an enigma. Uh, the historiography here is interesting because um, here we are at Camp Nelson, uh, which is set just outside Lexington, Kentucky. And um, it was here to help house a lot of um, men coming from East Tennessee who were uh, pro-Union. Um, and, and so that lends to, you know, why Kentucky being one of the, the ninth uh, slaveholding state, why did it have so many people fight for the Union? In 1916, William McKinney um, wrote an article about, you know, why Kentucky being a slave state did not secede. And basically, um, there, what he says in this article is that this, that slavery was not enough of an issue for them, to, for Kentuckians to go to war. Um, and in 1917, A.C. Quisenberry writes another his article, and he talks about how I Kentucky was more Southern than what many people believe. So this is the dichotomy here we see between McKinney and, and Quisenberry in 1916 and 1917. And this makes sense with Kentucky, again, because then you go back to Henry Clay. Henry Clay, um, a great orator here from Kentucky, um, who owned slaves, did not believe in slavery. He didn't believe it was right, but yet he owned slaves. Um, he was kind of under the, the, he was kind of pushing for you know, slaves to be able to go back to Africa. But again, it throws that notion as like, well, who is Kentucky? Where, where do they fall? Uh, Thomas Clark in 1968 writes a book, The Kentucky Land of Contrast. And he says that many people believe that the slaves, the Kentuckians, believe their slaves were different, that they had a different relationship with them. They're, you know, it's like, well, did they think that Kentuckians think that they were, they, they were a little bit better than the folks in the South? Um, so that's what this research is going to uh, look at. It's going to look at why that so many Kentuckians uh, felt this way. Um, you know, with, with, with Thomas Clark, he, he also believed, and I don't know if too many people would believe this, maybe perhaps others in different regions, um, and many times folks in northern Kentucky are really kind of considered southern Cincinnati. Um, but Clark, in his, land, his book *Land of Contrast*, um, states that uh, Kentucky wasn't as southern as it was thought to be. Bottom line is that Kentucky, being a border state, not one to uh, disrupt anything with its southern neighbors or northern neighbors of Tennessee and Ohio, uh, remained neutral. Um, the, Kentucky had a um, southern or a confederate governor, but the state legislature was definitely, you know, uh, going to stay union. They, they, they did not want to secede. And um, uh, Lowell Harrison, uh, in his book, um, he states that, um, and he writes uh, his book, uh, The Civil War in Kentucky, but he believes that uh, this was more of a political uh, um, fight, uh, that this was political in, 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 in what Kentucky was doing, and that's uh, staving off the South, you know, and, 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 and remaining neutral. Um, but it, it, just, it just lends that, you know, the, the gaps I see here is trying to figure out, you know, was Kentucky stating this, they, you know, many people, Look at Kentucky and think that they stayed it. They stayed in it just to preserve the Union. And I'm not so sure. I just wonder: is that the particular? Is that exactly why? It seems to to, to be uh, very interesting 
uh, if it was just to preserve the union, then, um, you know, that does seem to play into Harrison's, you know, belief of being a more political um, reason. Uh, but when you look at the areas of Kentucky, where, you know, the Appalachians, the central and, and, and in eastern Kentucky, it gets really interesting because in um, the Appalachian region of Kentucky, you had areas of people that were had very few slaves, but yet in the election voted for a, a more, you know, uh, Democrat, Breckenridge, who, was, who, who would have, if, uh, you know, Looked at Tennessee, looked at Kentucky to be a uh, a southern state and, and, and pushed for secession, perhaps. Um, so it, it doesn't make it kind of doesn't make sense. It's like why would a, this a region who had very few slaves and probably um, a more of a uh, of an abolitionist area, why would they vote for uh, Breckenridge? I mean, now he was uh, a, a the you know Kentucky son. He was a vice president that, you know, so it makes, maybe that's why, but, uh, you know, this research is going to really delve into um, letters and, and, and soldiers and, and try to figure out, was this a moral reason? Was this just only to preserve the union? Uh, and, and, and was, were they, were they truly Southern? Um, many, many believe that uh, Kentucky was more southern after the war than before or during so it's it, it's this research is going to be really interesting to see exactly where and you know kentucky was and why they they chose to side with the union when it when it came to picking up arms and fighting against literally their neighbors or brothers